What up guys, it's Bash RC and finally back from a long, long waited, waited time off. I know you guys have been waiting for videos and thank you to all the new subscribers for sticking in there and all the old subscribers that have waited. Finally a new video and I'm going to try to get some more out sooner than I did this time. What you see in front of me, I got off of Facebook Marketplace. It is an M5 Stewart 1.6 scale RC tank. It is a World War II. And it's missing some things. It's not 100% perfect like you would get um, if you bought a brand new one. It's missing the turret, which I make shift one out of the pipe. Um, it's missing the radio, the charger. It has the battery, but the battery has been dead for so long it's not taking a charge. So I actually got the 12 volt battery out of a um, one of those charging power packs. There it is right here. Took a charge, so it's going to actually hold it, the charge in here. When you have the battery in this machine, it weighs, give or take, about 15 to 20 pounds. Without the battery, it goes down to about 8 pounds, I think. So let's dig in a little deeper to this machine. Let's pull off the actual top here. So here is the top. Yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of wires sticking out. Um, they make the turret turn and go up and down, which it will not do with what I can do, because it had a real toy grade soundboard and speed controller, and it just it's hard to figure out how to wire it. So I'm going to put this down so we don't break it. It's very fragile. It's made out of very, very fragile plastic. Next, here is the, the actual frame of the machine. Okay, in here we have 550 motors, both sides. Two transmissions, which have half plastic and some metal gears. Not 100% metal gears. So it is wired in with some heavy-duty wire. I got it to two speed controllers on either side. They're a cheap hobby wing version, but they do the job. They're supposed to be waterproof, and they can do 550s down to 12 turns and 450s even down more. Um, I get about uh, running time with the Traxxas connectors and the 8.4 batteries. I get about 20 minutes run time if I just stop and go, stop and go, don't full throttle it. Um, if I do full throttle it, I do only get about 10 minutes running time. Um, I'm not 100% going to stay with the 8.4 volts of Traxxas that right now it is wired to. I'm going to try to find a better receiver because right now I'm using this receiver right here, which is a Spectrum 6 channel receiver. And if you can see it here, I'm sorry, I'm getting adjusted to my camera a little bit. Um, it did the good, but the problem with this radio is that the first and second channel does not have a good spring system so when you're driving forward you go push forward it doesn't spring back on you and go to the middle it kind of stays and your machine kind of goes nuts so I didn't like that so I talked to a few guys on YouTube and they said to go with a fly sky radio and they make them for especially for tanks heavy construction equipment and 18 wheelers and I found one on Amazon for about $68 so I'm gonna try to get that um, otherwise it runs pretty good it I did put it on my two channel spectrum it ran really good but I couldn't turn I can only go forward and back and that's no fun either so in all it's gonna have three speed controllers um, as you can see it has some plastic wheels right here and here I do have some spring action in there not too bad the track is a hard plastic I've heard you can get metal upgrades for it I'm not 100% sure where you get that but I've heard they do make them this is an older model it came out in 2003 the guy told me that I got it from um, you can do these things on Facebook Marketplace, the actual trades, which I did, but you have to watch out for scams. There are a ton of scams on Facebook Marketplace. Just be careful, guys. I've been scammed twice now, and I plan on not getting scammed again. If you like what you see I'm s about the tank and want to see more, subscribe. If you're already a subscriber, thank you very much for sticking with me this long. And thank you for the new subscribers that I got. I noticed I'm up to 21 now. Awesome. My goal was 20 to start off. So let's thank all the new subscribers. I don't know who you are. You know who you are. And I know you stuck through me, so please stay with me, and we'll have some more videos coming out. This one be finished, and we'll start some new stuff, new content. I got some new RCs to show you. All right, thank you, and have a great day, guys. Bye.